Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a bit of a weird video because this was never a video I planned and I haven't put out a video for so long I thought I should put one out. Anyway, this video was me just testing out a new camera, some new lights, blah blah blah. But at the end of it the painting came out really well so I managed to uh, get together bits of video, bits of stills uh, to create this. So this video, I'm cutting the stencil, I've got the video of that, then I've got the um, stills of the spray. Oh, oh, the, the muse is Jane Douglas from Outside Xbox, who I mainly remember from GameSpot. When I was planning this painting, I, I knew I wanted this big, strong female, like, warrior. And she just happened to do a lot of posts about the Pride Parade and I thought this is positive, which you don't see very much on social media. So I thought I'm going to paint her because she inspired me at that point. So uh, this is a painting which I've called Bridges. Enjoy, I'll do a voiceover as we go. And here is the first layer um, of the face, basic blocks uh, card with a scalpel and um, take note of the very cool Spider-Man top I'm wearing. I think that's my pyjamas. Oh, I'm disgusting. Anyway, cutting the first layer. You can see it there. And now I'm going to show you what it looked like. So I sprayed it. The background here is just a sort of a very pinky, I guess you call it a very medium skin tone um, or a very pinky brown. And then uh, the first layer is with a sprayed on with a, what would, I think it's called Monsterat or Moosterat, something like that. It's sort of a, uh, a very pinky dark brown, but you can see it. It's nice. So let's go on to the next layer. Cutting this one, this is uh, the detail layer. So this one I will be spraying a darker brown um, and you can see, as always, it's just the much more, the, the, the little bits, the shadows that create the detail. Uh, and then you see there, I've sprayed that um, with a darker brown, just a normal brown, I guess you call it Sinsquisa, I think it's called, something like that. And then we're cutting the highlighting layer, which is very basic here, just lots of um, cheekbones and jaws. And there you go, sprayed on with, I think that's like a bone color. Um, it looks really cool. She's really popping there. So then that's not enough for me. So then I go back in with black paint and black ink and start defiling everything. The hair, the eyes, the lips, what have you. But then she needs a mask because she's a hero. She's a heroine. She needs a turtle mask. So we've got Raphael's there and she, I love that. Um, but that's not enough. So I grade the background, add in more detail and fold the mask to make her look more heroic. Um, just the balance is working well. Then um, I've added some text to this one and more of a comic book border. So it looks like a comic book panel uh, reading She Built Bridges and Tore Down Walls. Um, and then there's the mask close up. Nice. Nice. There's lots of layers, lots of texture. Um, she looks really cool. I'm really happy with this one. Um, it was a test for um, not spraying the black level because sometimes the black level to me or black layer sorry the darkest layer for me the detail layer is not needed I, I go back and correct a lot so I thought let's do the three layers and go back in with the ink and what have you at the end to create this and it gives it more of a comic book feel because that's how you do comic books you ink them at the end and I really like it so anyway I hope you enjoyed this very very quick video um, please take note do build bridges um, and I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.